it's not cheap to be a Jew in Europe, let's just say. Um, the exuberant costs of, of security, besides you know the regular functions of a Jewish organization today that you have to keep up with, you, you're taxed with another 30, 40 percent of just wasting time with security and, and, and financing all of that. And it's, uh, it's not cheap to be a Jew. Now, in terms of uh, the uh, you know the political debates about uh, the circumcision, about the shechita, how uh, did that uh, go through uh, your uh, area with the EU? Well, we were we were proud to be able to host various organizations that were battling and dealing with these issues and supply them with whatever infrastructure they should need, whether it was a meeting space or a office space or just being there for them, and giving them the uh, the place to operate out of. So do you feel that this and other things that we're seeing in Europe are part of a wave of anti-Semitism or is it coming from somewhere else? There's no doubt deeply rooted somewhere there is. Uh, sometimes it's, it's, it's cloaked in piety or various different things like human rights, but there's no doubt that deep down there, there's, there's some very serious anti-Semitic issues there. So now tell us please about uh, your connection with the State Department. We understand that you're uh, promoting uh, cooperation and you have had meetings. Well, being that... Myself, I'm American. Um, we enjoy very fine relations with the uh, U.S. Embassy. Um, we've had uh, Ira Foreman, which is uh, a, from the, uh, the State Department. Cam the position is to combat and uh, monitor anti-Semitism around the world. So we hosted, for example, the perfect example, we host a roundtable with him and various leaders from all different organizations, directors, bring them together in the EU Jewish building so everybody could meet together, discuss your ideas, and see how we, we could move forward. And when the, the U.S. President Obama is coming to the EU, what is significance do you see in terms of uh, the Jewish people, in terms of the connection with the EU? To be seen. He'll be on our street, but to be seen what, what actually comes out of it. So you've been there for some time. Uh, what's next? So it's been 10 years that we've been, uh, been, been operating in Brussels, um, providing to Jewish organizations. When we first set up, there was about a small handful, 34 Jewish organizations operating there. Today, there's a way over 60 that are, that are registered in Brussels, operating on a European scale. Um, and we're proud to be able to host many of those and uh, for the future. Some more renovations, some building projects, and looking forward to be able to host in modern facilities more and more organizations. There's various different organizations that, that run out of the EU Jewish buildings. Some are cultural, some are political, some are PR, some are just there for Hasbara or what have you. Um, education is definitely a key, whether it's students, uh, cradle to death, literally. Uh, myself, I'm privileged to, to, uh, to direct also the, the European synagogue, which uh, hosts you know every week many people and uh, somewhere between uh, close to 100 people every Shabbat for beautiful uh, service and for children's programs and of course the high holidays so that's very rewarding and very special to be able to have right there across the street from the EU.